hello everyone and uh, welcome back so in this video we are going to work on the card service okay card service you already know this is another service so you start adding the items to the cart how should i manage the that you have added all these items to the cart there should be some session like okay you know once you are logged in then only you are able to add the items to the cart first of all but once you are logged in how we need to persist the data based on the user id reference okay this is your, your user id and these are the this is the cart because a single user will maintain only single record in the cart uh, card database let's say i'm i'm a logged in I, i'm just surfing i added a five items log out and then doing a login again i should see all my five items in the card because i left those items in my cart i didn't do anything that's the those items should be there all the time so and uh, there should be only single record because we are using json object inside json object i will put all your dish menu items whatever you have added with the quantity okay so this is the cart uh, service simple cart single entity uh, and uh, it needs uh, authentication so there is already a session based cookies based authentication will work and we are just having this cart controller which is running on 3004 and here it's just a simple cred sometimes you wanted to clear the whole cart because you are not interested in any of my item but if you are interested then this is the object we you need to pass to add items to the cart restaurant id okay this is the restaurant id and these are the menu items which i have added i uh, thumbnails will be a string ingredients cuisine type meal type description name id id is the dish menu item id restaurant id is the restaurant id because this data is really going to be helpful for uh, pulling the order okay what are the or order items where is this particular restaurant where the delivery boy needs to go and fetch this order all sort of things needs to be resolved with the help of restaurant id okay and these are the mock payload from the service documentation now this all this is already i think added on the proxy gateway this is the simple payload i will just replace this thumbnail string uh, array to a simple string So as I discussed, this is a card service. Card service is going to use the cookies, not the, not going to extract the token from the authorization header. So this we need to replace because this is going to be used by React app, which is cookie based session management. So it is going to send the cookies to the server. So we need to change this logic based on other services. So we can look into other services we have like auth service. I will copy and paste this logic there other thing we need to have in the card services to uh, able to pass the cookies so we need to have this cookies middleware also we need to have a cookie parser like body parser we have like similarly we have cookie parser so that at the server side when the cookies are sent we should be able to decode we should be able to receive the cookies okay so we can just now cookies are enabled I mean, we are able to extract the cookies from the headers this is access token we need from the request.cookies and we will start the application we will start trying this this is the auth card we have and then this is pretty much now if i try to access this application currently we can't access it through the swagger because in swagger we are passing this uh, authorization header in uh, headers not inside uh, cookies so i will just target uh, my proxy gateway url which is api v1 card service and then it will start making the api call so we can have a separate uh, class also like external api class which is a fetch cart add item to the cart remove item from the cart all these methods are there right so we can use this external api dot fetch cart so inside this we can also have some kind of a url that url is a proxy based url that you are going to hit to make the api call so it should be a static variable so static variables non-static variables cannot be accessed inside a static method so we have to make the variable also static public static url and then we should be able to access this base url inside this and we are doing a fetch card so this is the base url card service card that's it and you do the exios.get cookie we don't need to pass any access token authorization token because it's a pure cookies based so you just need to hit a URL. Cookies all automatically will be sent to the server because these are cookies. 
attached to the domain so whenever there is any domain exchanges cookies will be sent to the server and server will decode the cookies and will return the response so we are removing this config because we don't need additional config to override the header authorization and all those things so now we can start uh, cleaning up the right sidebar because this is the mock data we are showing on the right sidebar which is a user profile and uh, added items to the cart so user profile here we can just do a dispatch and try to fetch all the items which are there in the cart okay use fetch cart items okay so now uh, we are just uh, populating the state and then here we are accessing the redux state from the user and from the cart so here if user is there then only show this particular section that means user is logged in and user we should be able to get from the use auth which is a custom hook we already have and here initialize the user with null we will initialize a user with user auth hook later and this is where we are dispatching so we can dispatch uh, an action which is a fetch cart item so it should be able to fetch the cart item and it should be able to put that inside a, our uh, redux state and here we can just add this new cart reducer from the cart slice cart reducer and cart slice you can import and now we are able to we should start looking for the restaurant blending page uh, and try to debug what's wrong there should be some console.log or some error left there okay and here order menu uh, okay card data so what we are getting globally so we are getting the cart data cart data is all the items which are there in the shopping cart object so once that data is available we should be able to get access this so initially the cart data is coming empty or undefined that's why it is uh, creating problem undefined of null so if this user is can be null i think we also need to add a type so that we can access the user avatar first name user type and all those sort, sort of properties so it's an object with uh, any type any okay then it will resolve all the all our problems and still unnecessary semicolon at line 25 let's see okay we are hitting the wrong url forward slash forward slash coming twice and uh, we'll fix that in external api okay so the url is fixed now we should be able to trigger the call and it's coming uh, 500 because there is an extra semicolon in our uh, slice at line 25 yes uh, there is which i have removed and now it works so order menu is empty and user profile is empty that is expected because there is nothing inside a cart when you start adding the items to the cart you should be able to populate that on the right sidebar because in the right sidebar we are making an action cannot read property undefined of access token okay okay so this is breaking because we are not able to access the cookies so i think uh, another point we are not adding this uh, cookie parser middleware which i need to add so i will add this in the card service also and then i need to register this cookie parser middleware in the app.ts so i will install this and go to the terminal npm install so cdfs card service npm pnpm install it will install the cookie parser and then i will go to the main.ts to register this middleware there okay this is where it is card service it's failing still because we haven't registered the middleware so let me go to the application and I will see how we are doing it in the user auth service. I will copy this thing, cookie parser. And cookie parser we are importing first and then registering it here. 
Uh, I mean, it's all copy paste thing here. I mean, we we have brought this logic, so why should we rewrite it? To give parser middleware, and then I'm starting the application again. Card service and run start dev, and now it should start working. So once it works, then this is the entire integration, and you can see now card API works. So this is the integration of this this React app with the cookie based authorization with card service, and it works. So now next thing is uh, populating the user profile. So that is the next thing we already have a user auth. So what we can do is we can populate the correct user email uh, onto our right sidebar. In the right sidebar, we are showing the user email. Okay. So what we can do is we already have this use auth uh, hook that is giving us, uh, I mean the context use auth is just populating the user data and then uh, use context is giving us the user data in the component so that we can access. So here I can populate the email because this is what we are getting from the session, email, role, all those properties. So I did the same. We already have the user object and I put the user.email. That's it. Just removing some margin so we can have some spacing. Okay, now uh, the next thing is whatever the you are adding inside a cart, we need to show them in the, the right hand section also. So how we can do it? We already have uh, so let's fix this like left side navigation first. There is a logout action we can add. Like there is a settings and then there is a logout. So if you want to log out, you can use this button. It will it should be able to refresh the page and take you to the login screen or the home page. So we already have a logout. And inside logout, we can also so this is our logout, right? So when you do the logout, either we can redirect the user to the home page. So user session will get refreshed and because we cannot keep on the same page where size cookies are clear and uh, you can see it will uh, return an error right so what we can do is this is use navigation navigate and then uh, here inside this logout user we already have a use navigate there so we can use that navigate to home page after successful logout that's it. So we reload the page. We will sign in again and try to see. We already have logged out, so it will return us unauthorized. So we will go to sign in. And I will do the logout. That's it. So that's it. So logout is clearing out the session. Login is creating the session. And then we can start playing with this. Here it is populating our correct email. We can also remove this image and all those things from the right side of our profile we don't need the image and uh, we don't need this whole section the the circle and all so this is your email okay now we already have this filter what we will do is when you click on to this we are just showing you the selected item right which contains okay the name description food image and all sort of properties now, when you click on to this, we should be able to add this item to the cart. We should be able to call the cart service and add this item to the cart object. So how we are doing it? Similarly, we will have a cart slice and cart service is already up and running. Right. So we when you click on to this, you should be able to send a payload and should be able to should be able to send this payload with the restaurant ID and the menu items JSON object. OK. So we already know what card service this object looks like when you are adding the new item to the card. Okay, so this is the home page where we have this uh, actions add item to the card and remove item from the card. Because these are the reducers. I mean, these are the actions which are exposed from this card slice. So we just need to call them, right? So for add item, there is an API call for remove item. There is an API call. So we will just uh, import the required dependency. I think we should be doing it from the home page, not from the right side bar. So let's copy this handle add item to the cart and remove item to the cart from here to our restaurant landing page because there we have these buttons add item to the cart, remove item from the cart. So we will import the required stuff because we are dispatching both these actions. And here in the food, we have this plus and minus icon, right? Food item on click. So this is the plus icon. So similarly, we can also have a minus icon if you want. So this is add item to the add cart item. And we just need to pass the menu object. 
food item food item is the selected dish menu item so this is the food item and similarly if you want to have a minus icon that also you can have just copy this button and paste it here and this is the plus icon and this is the minus icon minus icon will remove the item from the card and instead of plus i think there should be a minus circle icon okay so this is add cart items or add cart item handler or remove from cart handler okay add to cart or remove from cart add to cart and uh, add to cart and remove from cart so these are the methods dish menu items you are getting and then here you need to construct the payload right because here we started dispatching the actions now when you click on to these buttons we are actually calling the cart service with this payload but we need to modify the payload and we need to make this payload correct first of all we can just make this plus and minus icon adjacent to each other by wrapping another div and doing a display flex let's see so let's add a, another div on top of that div class name flex justify and and inside this put all both these buttons Now both these buttons are adjacent that's what we want and now when you click on to this it should be able to trigger these actions remove item from cart it's dispatching this so we need to get the restaurant id which is there in the dish object dish dot restaurant dot id you can also try to log what is inside a dish object when you click on to this so you can see here this is json object menu id restaurant id and uh, dish id all these things there and this is the, your expected payload which is cuisine type meal type category i think these are some of the new properties we need to populate back so i will just copy this and in the menu item id we can just pass this whole payload i mean that is the quick and dirty we are doing so this is the restaurant id so what is the restaurant id dish dot restaurant dot id so here we are dish dot restaurant dot id and pass the whole payload when I click on to this, I'm getting bad request because I think there are some pro properties are missing. First of all, why it's passing only menu item? There should be a restaurant ID also. I think there is some typo. Why it is not passing the restaurant ID? Maybe it's undefined we are passing. That is another possibility. And this is a restaurant ID. Okay. So we need to correct the typo, I guess. Okay, so this is add item to the cart. So still not passing the payload. So here we need to correct the payload, fix the payload. Right side bar and we are on the home. So restaurant ID and ID. ID also we need to pass. Okay, what is the dish menu item ID? So actually I fixed this typo here, dish dot restaurant ID. Here also it is dish dot restaurant ID. We try to just see the payload how it looks like and then try to see uh, what typo we are doing. It's still restaurant ID and restaurant ID must be a string. So this is missing, right? So this is the property we need to pass in the body which is not going. So that is just a simple payload validation error. We need to fix from the JSON object we are passing here in the dispatch. So sometimes the typo is hard to catch. So it's a restaurant ID here. This is the typo. Okay, and I will fix it here. And then I need to populate a couple of more properties like cuisine type, uh, food venue type and all that we can populate through while constructing this using a dish slice i think these properties are not even there so how should we pass this cuisine type meal type food type that we need to capture while constructing the dish menu object so we already have this we will go to the dish slice and there we will populate the meal type food type cuisine type from the item object because that is already there it's only that we need to onboard it and we need to 
make that data available in our restaurant landing page product state so once it is start having that you will start adding the items to the cart now when you do this oh this this works right now you are able to add the item to the cart so i think this is some old data which is not passing the correct payload but here we will clean this and then uh, we will be able to show the restaurant menu items okay so this is updating the redux state let's see if the redux state is getting updated so here this is a fetch item to the cart so by default right side bars will be listening to this redux state which is cart.cart.data data dot menu items inside data there is a menu items array okay that is menu item array is something which we are looking for to grab inside okay so menu item is an array so we will go to the right sidebar and now we know where to look for we already have a selector we need to add and in the selector we just need to grab the menu items object and put it here inside this array currently we are doing a map onto the empty array so cart items use selector and pass the selector from this so we can just use the cart items selector cart dot cart dot data inside data we have menu items so we'll put this in the place and inside cart items it's actually giving us the data So now we need to see uh, all these uh, cart items in the right sidebar. We already have this right sidebar component and using selector we will get the menu items. So these menu items we can just iterate because that will be an array of menu items. And using selectors we got the data and now this data is just nothing but uh, you can iterate order menu and inside order menu we have the array. So data dot menu items. If data is there and data dot menu items is there, then just run a map on that. And then there is a card component and pass the card item. Okay, that's uh, pretty much simple. Okay, and here we are. We can see the data coming. We just need to fix the price information and uh, price information and the thumbnail. I can see that price is missing so first of all we will fix that in the dish slice component uh, thumbnails equal to item dot thumbnail and we already have a full image we can use that that is also not coming maybe it's all data so we can clear this and try to see the data in the latest I think there is a price so here I'm trying to see the data is there or not I can see thumbnail is there price is there so what I will do is I will remove the old data and try to add a few more items to the cart and then okay it's not showing up so something is wrong let's see let's try to debug this kind of error right sidebar card and inside this card component we are showing the price and the image so this is the card component getting the things as a props cart item dot thumbnails and then cart item dot price so i got the thumbnail and then price is based on the quantity so i think we are not managing the quantity so it, it's important like either you can manage the quantity and then when you click on plus icon twice increase the quantity here i keep adding the items and then finally i will create the bill but uh, ideally i should have this quantity property also in the response which will tell you okay mcdonald uh, McD burger uh, veggie burger uh, quantity 2 so the price will be the cart item dot price cart item dot quantity currently we I have only the price okay which is string so I should be able to see the price now and this is the cart item source so we will start uh, optimizing and updating this to make it more uh, simpler maybe what we can do is to make it more uh, clean we can have a quantity attribute and uh, what we can do is let's say you are adding a plus you, you are clicking plus thrice so we can just manage the item and the quantity quantity it has been added three times okay so currently we are just passing a single json object and then keep adding the same property uh, same item id 
but in the response we can manage the count okay this has been added twice thrice n number of times okay that is the that is the enhancement i will be doing uh, so that we can have a quantity and also there can be a cross button in the right side bar to remove the item from the cart okay so you can actually decrease the quantity or uh, decrease the quantity from this uh, main landing page or from the right side bar and then you can do the checkout okay so this is pretty much we have so now this is the pretty much redux state we have we have auth data restaurant dishes cart okay restaurant and dishes dishes we have additional additional state management here and in every object we have a data status error data contains the array of item ids this is the selected restaurant object you filter something and uh, okay it should have it's showing data maybe i need to resize the page and then you can just see the view more and you should be able to see the data okay so this is the redux state management we are doing uh, which shows how the data flows from end to end okay that's all we have in this now in the next video all the next set of improvements in the card service and we also now what are the next thing we need to do so let's say we also need to have an address management right you are a, uh, you if you are a guest then you can actually create a multiple address and while putting the order you can select your address you can also favorite your restaurant so you can just bookmark or favorite uh, the restaurant that is a simple api we can make settings settings like settings can be anything we can just create a simple settings in the user where user can create his own custom settings okay there are some particular properties he can just play with them and the pre historical orders so there is order service which tracks the the order created uh, for a particular user uh, i mean the what all this menu items which he has ordered that is the history and what is the total payment he has done so there is an order service we need and there is some payment integration we need and then these respective services chat is simple i will try to because there is a topic websocket uh, people are asking so i can integrate some small websocket feature here to enable the chat between the chat support people and the 